What did we say at halftime to change the performance? Yeah. So essentially at halftime, I mean, listen, this was a, a fully um, attended stadium. I mean, the energy, the pressure of the moment, I think got to the Amazonas in the first half. I think it got to us. Uh, we were very well off our game plan. I saw a lot of nervous players. And I went in at halftime and you give empathy. You say, I understand. You're in a high pressure moment. Take it off yourself. You were in the momentum for the last 10 minutes. That's the Amazonas I know. And we said to them, we, we corrected a few things tactically, yes. Uh, but really it was about them understanding the confidence and they had everything they need in the room to, to pull off this result tonight. So we gave them back their confidence. I didn't get angry or anything like that because we really didn't do well in the first half. Um, but I think it was about standing by their side. Look, we're a team. <laughs> the days of the individualism are gone. Like, we have strong players across every position, and I fully agree that Mayor is one of the best in the league, if not the best in the league, and I stand by my comment. Um, but we have prepared a full team for, for this uh, tournament. We have prepared everybody with multiple minutes across many games. We've used almost our entire bench all season. This isn't new. So yes, having Mayor back is an absolute bonus for the squad. She's going to definitely boost our confidence and our play. Uh, but we had always had everything we needed to get the result tonight. Always. That, that, that was always the case. So I'm very proud of who stepped up. You know, Bellin got the start in that position. She did fantastic for us. Anika started for Uche, who's, you know, hopefully coming back from concussion as well. Another big player for us. And uh, I'm proud as. I'm super proud. Uh, I give all credit to the players. I mean, I, I took on a team uh, as it was, really. Uh, and I think it was really about getting this group a little bit more tight-knit. They always had the talent. I mean, I knew coming in the story for, you know, four championships out of nine tournaments and all the rest of it, but they had, they had lost their way a little bit. So this group always had and has what it takes to win. Um, I think now what I feel is pride that they're connecting. I feel pride that the culture is getting better. I feel pride that they've taken on a new style of, pr of play and they've been brave enough to try and to, to trust uh, a new leader. Um, but really, I give all the credit to the players. I, I, really mean, I know a lot of coaches say that, but I genuinely mean that. They, they put in all the work, they're dedicated, they're professional, um, and they wanted this more than anything. So I'm so happy for that locker room right now. That was a special moment. I know they've experienced a, super, a crowd like that before, but you know it was my first time seeing the passion from the Incomparables, the group that came out, a bunch of different uh, walks of life, little kids, all the way up to older men and women. Like It was incredible to see the diversity in the crowd and everyone just chanting the same thing, all united around these Amazonas. The impact they have on this community is insane. Um, I think it's so special, and I think this is a tribute to what women's football can do in a community. Um, it united us. We actually have a funny story. I'll just spend 20 seconds on the story. We were making sure we kept it very light physically yesterday, and some of them had their highest load jumping with the crowd. They were like working out, basically, so it was basically counterproductive. But for me, I was a little worried that they were working out and then jumping and you know bouncing around. But I think the the moral boost, the 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 confidence boost, the connection to the fans, uh, gives them purpose. And um, you saw that tonight. I mean, they were really connected with the crowd. You saw Ovaya pull, pulling them up in the last, you know, two minutes. Really, like, they feel, they feel that energy, and it's our, it's our extra superpower.